Here is a derivation of the population mean of a geometric random variable with parameter p. On the previous slide, we found the moment generating function. So there would be a temptation to simply differentiate that, plug in t equals 0, and get the mean. And that's probably the easiest way to do it. However, there is a very, very clever proof, and that is given on this page, of the mean of the geometric distribution by first principles. And so I am going to run through that proof instead. So we are after the population mean mu, which is the expected value of x. And because we have a discrete distribution, we sum over the support script A of x times f of x. This script A runs from 0 to infinity. So those are the limits on the summation. And we have x multiplied by the probability mass function. And here it is. So if you start writing out the terms, when x equals 0, notice we uh, have nothing, so that goes away. But when x equals 1, we get 1 times p times 1 minus p. And then for the next term, we get 2 times p times 1 minus p squared plus 3 times p times 1 minus p cubed, etc. This first term, I'll go ahead and just drop the 1 and put it right here. Since we have two of these terms, I'll write them on top of one another. In other words, we're going to be adding up all of these different uh, rows here. Since we have three of these terms right here, we stack them in this fashion. And four of these terms get stacked just like this. Now, the next thing to look at is that each of the rows here, so here's my first row. It turns out that that is a geometric series and the common multiplier is 1 minus p. So if I were to pull a p times 1 minus p out of here, what would I be left with? I'd be left with 1 plus 1 minus p plus 1 minus p squared, etc. And when you cancel those two p's after you sum the geometric series, you're just left with 1 minus p for this first row. Now let's go to the second row. In the second row, notice you could pull out a p times 1 minus p squared, basically this, out of each term in the second row. And what are you left with? 1 plus 1 minus p plus 1 minus p squared, etc. That whole thing sums to 1 over p. The p's cancel, and you're just left with 1 minus p squared. This third row to 1 minus p cubed and then 1 minus p to the fourth, etc. It turns out that this is also a geometric series. So you can pull a 1 minus p out front. And when you pull out a 1 minus p out of each one of these terms, you're left with 1 plus 1 minus p plus 1 minus p squared. And that all converge, or I'm sorry, that sums to 1 over common ratio, or 1 over 1 minus the common ratio, which is 1 over p. So finally, the population mean of a geometric random variable turns out to be 1 minus p, the term that was factored out here, divided by p.